Hey YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back making a bomb DIY deep conditioner that has fenugreek, sea moss, and rose water. Now, if you guys are curious how to make the rose water, I'm gonna go ahead and link the video up here of what I did earlier in the week. And once you have that made, let's jump in and go ahead and get started. So we'll begin with 30.44 grams of sea moss gel. Then we wanna measure out a hydrated fenugreek. Now this is actually just one tablespoon of fenugreek powder with one cup of water. You wanna set this out and wait 24 hours before use. And I'm gonna measure out 141.16 grams of my fenugreek water. Then I'm going to measure out 60.55 grams of my rose water tea. I'm going to use 9.34 grams of raw honey. Then I'll use 6.47 grams of my distilled rose water. Hit the video up top to learn how to make it. So now I'm going in with the oil phase. I'm gonna be using 38.2 grams of my shea and mango butter. I'm gonna use 57.22 grams of my BTMS 225 emulsifier. I'll be using 2.23 grams of my pumpkin seed oil and 5.17 grams of my babasu oil. So y'all know I can't forget my Ayurvedic hair oil. I'll be using 9.13 grams of that. Well, now that we have our oil phase and our water phase separate and ready, let's go ahead and head to the kitchen with our double boiler and put these on the stove. Heat up for about 15 to 20 minutes until the emulsifier completely melts. And then you're ready to add the oil mixture into the water mixture. Now you wanna add slowly and begin stirring. As you can see, a creamy substance starts to form as the emulsifier binds the water and the oil phase. Now let's go to our mixer and pour in our mixture and turn on the mixer and let it blend for about five to 10 minutes as it begins to cool and thicken. After the mixture has blended and cooled, go in with 5.81 grams of your OptiFin Plus as your preservative, and then use whatever essential oils you have on hand to add some additional benefits. I'll be using, of course, my rosemary and essential oils. Now I use about 20 to 30 drops of each until it is scented very nice, and then I blend it one more time. Now look how amazing this looks as it's coming out. You see that beautiful pink color from the roses and it just looks so light and fluffy and I cannot wait to put this in my hair, y'all. I already know that the ingredients work very well together. So I'm going to shampoo my hair and then apply this deep conditioner for you guys. Now one of my favorite things about using this conditioner and any conditioner with fenugreek is the amount of slip that it has. I can easily detangle my hair with this conditioner. And you guys, if you wanna add some of the hydrated fenugreek to your regular conditioner, it will add a lot of slip to this. So you would only need to use a quarter cup of hydrated fenugreek, 
with about half a cup of conditioner and y'all the slip will be so amazing and you guys let me tell you a little bit more about some of the oils that i chose in this particular recipe and how you can add them to your own recipe so pumpkin seed oil was one of the first oils I added and pumpkin seed has of the ability to inhibit DHT production, which can lead to androgen hair loss. So it basically helps to prevent hair loss. It is one of those oils that can penetrate deep into the strands, enriching it with fatty acids, with zinc, vitamin E, and many other minerals. It contains a lot of antioxidants, which help to restore the cell structure of our skin and scalp, and also our hair. Additionally, the zinc in pumpkin seed oil is also said to help treat flaking, irritation, and itching, which is associated with seborrheic dermatitis. Now, the other oil I used was babasu oil. And let me tell you guys, this oil is amazing and great for women who have low porosity hair. It's an emollient that can deeply moisturize inside the hair strand. It inhibits aging processes and provides a lot of elasticity to our hair. It also is a natural sunscreen, has tons of vitamins, fatty acids, and phytoesterols to help to regulate the scalp production and reduce irritation and dandruff. Now, if you guys are interested in using these oils in your regimen, I recommend adding about five to 10 drops to your deep conditioners and using them in a mix with other oils, such as your Ayurvedic oil blend when you're oiling your scalp and massaging it into your strands. So once you're done, tie your hair up and steam for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so y'all, I just rinsed out this deep conditioner and my hair feels amazing. I just have to show you guys. I just asked my husband, is it even fair? Like, these products are so amazing, moisturizing. Oh my gosh. So I just wanna show y'all how light and fluffy my hair is. How defined my curls are. My little tiny coils, y'all. It's insane. These DIY deep conditioners are causing my hair to change for the better. Let's talk about hydration and moisture. This is what happens when you choose the right products and use the right products when making a DIY deep conditioner. Oh, y'all, my hair feels so good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to moisturize my hair and put it into some twists for the week again and enjoy having all this hydration. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time for another DIY. Bye.